Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we are multiplying and dividing mixed numbers today. Fun times. All right, let's take a look at this. Before we get started, you will need to know how to multiply fractions. And there's a lesson right there about how to multiply fractions. There's also a lesson on dividing fractions, because you, we are going to divide fractions as well. And the other thing you'll need to know is how to convert from mixed numbers into improper fractions. So you can take a look at that video down here as well. Let's go ahead and get started. When you're given a question of multiplying mixed numbers, the steps that you will follow is this. First of all, we convert the mixed numbers into improper fractions. So 2 and 2 thirds, I'm going to convert into the improper fraction of 8 over 3, or 8 thirds. I do that by multiplying 3 times 2, which is 6, and adding 2 more, which gives me 8. Then I'm going to take my second fraction, negative 3 and 1 fourth. I'm going to convert that. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 1 is 13. I have to keep the negative in there. So now my second improper fraction is negative 13 over 4. I know that these were equivalent, so I'm just going to substitute them in there. 8 thirds went in here for 2 and 2 thirds. Negative 13 over 14 went right in there. And now I'm going to multiply these two fractions. I do that by multiplying the numerator times the numerator, top times top, 8 times negative 13, and the denominator times denominator, 3 times 4, which is 12. It gives me 104 over 12, and it is negative. And if you have a negative on the top or on the bottom, you can just put it out front as well, just to say this fraction is a negative. Now, if we were looking for our answer in an improper form, this is it. It's not simplified, it's not improper, but that would be an acceptable answer. Yes, it is equal to 104 over 12. But we're going to take this to the next level and actually convert it back into being a fraction in lowest terms and also a mixed number. So here, I, I to convert the improper fraction into a mixed number, I'm going to divide 104 divided by 12. And when I do that, I get 8. 8 times 12 is 96. So I'm going to write that down, 96. I'm going to subtract 104 minus 96. And I'm going to get 8. So that means I have a remainder of 8. All right. So Now, what I do is I take this number here, 8, that's my whole number, and my remainder becomes the fraction 8 over 12. 12 remains the same, it's my denominator right there. Whole number goes into whole number, remainder is the remainder, and the denominator remains the same. Now, what I need to remember is that this is a negative number, so it stays negative, and I can reduce the fraction into lowest terms because 8 over 12 is equal to 2 thirds. If I divide both the numbers by 4, 8 divided by 4 is 2, 12 divided by 4 is 3. So my final answer then will be negative 8 and 2 thirds. From the, here on out, I'm going to show several examples. You can go ahead and pause the recording and try them on your own. Follow those same steps that I talked about earlier. But basically, this is what we're going to do. All right. So I'm converting this into an improper fraction. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 2 is 17. So I have negative 17 over 5 times 4, which can be written as 4 over 1. Now I'm going to multiply 17 times 4, which gives me 68, and 5 times 1, which gives me 5. And I can write this out now, 68 divided by 5, and go ahead and use some long division here to solve. How many times does 6, 5 go into 6? One time, I multiply 1 times 5 and get 5. I'm going to subtract, bring down my 8. How many times does 5 go into 18? Three times. 3 times 5 is 15, with a remainder of 3. So now I can rewrite my answer as a total of 13, my whole number from up there, and the remainder of 3 over 5. I have to remember here that I was multiplying negative 17 times 4, so that will give me a negative fraction here 
and the negative final result because a negative times a positive gives you a negative. So that would be our final answer here in simplest form. Again, we want our answers to be a, as a mixed number at the end. So 3 and 2 fifths times 4 or negative 3 and 2 fifths times 4 will give you 13, negative 13 and 3 fifths. One more question that we're going to do, and this one has to do with a negative divided by a negative. The most complicated type of question in this segment. So I'm going to do the exact same steps. I'm going to convert both of these fractions into improper fractions. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 2 is 12. And I have that divided by 3 times 9 is 27 plus 5 is 32 over 9, also a negative. Now when I'm dividing fractions, I know that that means I have to multiply by the reciprocal. So I'm going to change it to multiplication and flip over that fraction. Still, both numbers are negative. Now I'm going to multiply 12 times 9 gives me 108. And 5 times 32 gives me 160. Now this is not an improper fraction. So I don't have to reduce it to being a mixed number, but I am going to reduce it down to simplest form. And I know that it has a common factor of 4 in each number. 108 divided by 4 is equal to 27. And 160 divided by 4 is equal to 40. So that's my fraction at the end in lowest terms. Now, You'll notice I never even addressed what we're doing with these negatives. That's because I know a negative times a negative gives you a positive. So those negatives, they don't just disappear. We always have to look at the negatives and consider them. But when you're multiplying a negative times a negative, the final result is positive. So this would be our final answer, 27 over 40, positive 27 over positive 40. So the steps again, you convert it into an improper fraction, then you multiply or divide using the rules of multiplying and dividing fractions and also multiplying and dividing negatives, and then you take a nap because those ones are long. Whew.